All right, folks, a quick instructional video on how to design your Facebook events header so that it works on both mobile and desktop. Now, let's have a look at this one. Rockstars on ice at Rogers Arena, beautiful events header on desktop. But the moment we go to mobile, as you can see over here, um, it gets cut off. You don't see the date there. You don't see any of this. So the whole design goes to a ball of crap. At the same time, if you look at this one, this is our other event. This looks horrible on um, desktop because everything gets cut off on desktop. But if you look at it on mobile, uh, let me just get to it. If you look at it on mobile, it looks beautiful. So it works on mobile, which is better because most people, most people will view it on mobile. But you can design it so that it works on both. And basically, this is the template for it. So you are going to just design with a mobile safe zone, 94 pixels at the top that you're going to leave uh, empty, 180 pixels at the bottom and 480 pixels on both sides. And your actual design size is 1920 by, I suppose I must put it in here. Let's just put it in there. Your uh, full design size is actually... 1920 by 1005. Weird number, but that is what it should be. So the big block, 1920 by 1005 pixels. Suppose let me put it in. Pixels. And then you have this 480, 94, 180, and 480. So let's do a quick design. What I want to do is I want to fix this one, the Budavos roll day. So I'm just going to quickly. Uh, let me just get rid of all this. Um, I'll put a, let me just take a screenshot and I'll put it in the video so you can, and at the bottom so you can see it later. All right, so let's get cracking. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab one of the images that I have over here of a Budavos roll, which is what we are promoting, a Budavos roll day. And I'm going to stretch this across the whole um Backside, I'm just using Canva. You can use whatever you want. So I'm going to stretch it over here so that you can see the Budavos roll. A little bit like that. Okay, that's my back image. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go uh, layer, send to back. And there we go. Now I've got my safe zone. Now I do want to show a little bit of the um, Budavos roll. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another block and I'm going to take it over here so we get our safe zone. And I'm going to up it to about there so that we see the Budavos roll stick out. And then I'm going to grab some text. Let me add a heading. Join us at. Join us. Join us. Uh, yeah, let's make it all caps. Join us for a. Enter. Bura Vos Roll. All right. Join us for a Bura Vos Roll. Make the text a little bit smaller. I'm going to put it right at the top there. I'm just going to use another font. I like Gagolin. It's a nice font. I'm going to work with this a little bit. I'm going to make the line a little closer. Uh, I'm going to leave the lettering as is. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it bigger. Why not? So there we are. I'm going to make this background the color of our... Um, hmm, where's our colors? Uh, you can add your brand colors, but I obviously haven't yet. Hang on a second. What is the green color code for the South African flag? Sorry, just checking with ChatGPT. Such a handy thing these days. Okay, so we've got a color code. Just put it in there. Enter A. This is what we want to make that color, though. There we go. Command V. All right, so that's our green. We've got white over there. Next, we are going to add some more text. Add a subheading. And it's going to say... At Ser 
at Serengeti in Rangri, BC. Up. So at Serengeti in Langley, BC. That is it. And I want to just also adjust the line spacing there a little bit to make it like that. Uh, and center it nicely. And I want to make it the South African flag yellow, which I have already asked ChatGPT for a little bit earlier. So let's just do that. We don't want to change the text. Oh, we want to change the text color actually. So let's do that. Um, I suppose I need to add my brand colors at some stage. All right, and then we want to add a couple of logos. So we want to add our SAIC logo, which is the South African Institute of Canada. We're going to put that down there. And we want to round its corners just a little bit. There we go. And then we are going to grab our other logo, which is How's It Canada. Actually, let me put this SAIC logo. So I'm going to dump that one. I'm going to take this. The white stands out nicely. And the How's It Canada. Are we going to position it like that? And there we go. And then this is obviously just part of our template. So we're just going to drop it in the back. And here we go. There's our little design. I'm going to move that up slightly, move that up slightly, give it a bit more balance, make this a bit bigger so that it stands out there, make this a bit bigger. And that's it. And that's how you do a layout. Actually, you know what? Let's make these corners around as well. It looks nicer. And that's how you do a event layout or an event cover layout so that you can, it looks good on both. So let's download it, download, download. We go back to our event. So we click edit, edit, upload, Facebook event header, open, save, and there we go. So now it looks really nice on desktop. Join us for a Buravos role at Serengeti Trading. And if we go to mobile, it also works, as you can see. Sorry, let me just get rid of that. So it does fade out a little bit here at the bottom, but it's still good enough. You've got join us for a Buravos role. You can see the image in the background and it works across the board. So that's how you do an event header for a Facebook event page so that it looks good on both mobile and on desktop cheers i'll have the image link with the dimensions in the bottom of this video cheers